Take the baby. You can pack up and head home. Andrew is staying here. Did you ask him that? Is that what he wants? Don't doubt it. What are you doing? Here. You are truly free. Only when you become rich. Take this back and leave, or he'll be the one to kick you out. Oh, really? Why don't we try? Stop that! You're scaring the baby. You don't need Andrew. He's just your whim, but he's my whole life. You can't buy me, and you won't buy him. <clears throat> Take your money and get out. What's going on here? Well, not even a hello? She offered me money. She told us to go and leave you. Just why would you do that? Have you lost your mind? Because I can. My offer still stands. Just take it. Here, take the money and go. Have you thought about this? There's no need to. We don't need anything from you. We? You said we. All of you can go to hell. Anna! Baby, we'll be okay. My love, we're leaving. I won't leave you alone. Anna! Take this. God damn it. Yeah? I'll be there. Hello? Andrew, did you grow with her? Don't be silly. Andrew, let's just go home. I'm afraid of her. She's insane, and I know she won't just leave us alone. Calm down! Andrew, how can I be calm when I have a child? I'm afraid that I get traumatized by things like this. I'm afraid for his life, for myself, and for yours. How can I be calm when I know that she lives in the same city? She's mentally unstable. For years, she's been harboring her grudge against you, and now me. I know that you don't see it, Andrew. But she's crazy! She's a maniac, and she won't leave us alone! Stop! This is too much! Andrew, listen! Not this time. Andrew, let's just go home. I will leave. With or without you. Go buy tickets for us, Andrew. Just please. Natalie. I feel something bad is going to happen. We'll talk later that. when I get back. Andrew! Well, we'll talk tonight! <laughs> the explosion occurred in a building occupied by a private detective Adam. agency. The authorities say there are several accounts of what really happened. What the hell are you talking about? Let me tell you the whole truth. I'm Vadim Kurochkin, one of the owners of the agency. In there were some important documents implicating a certain Adam, businessman. Just wait. Or to be more precise, a criminal posing as an honest citizen. Let me tell this to all of you. I just want to say, let me talk okay, for a second. Okay. I'm almost Come on, you shouldn't be doing this. orders to Come on, bomb said, our go. office. And I, I can't name him right now, but listen to me. Soon we'll have the copies of these documents and you'll regret Excuse doing me, this to us. Here. We're going to pay dearly for this. You won't get away with it. Sir, we'll did you do this? this? Wait, sir. Ah, uh, that? Yeah, it was me. Just gave them a little scare and got rid of the evidence. They will just have more. But I did buy some time. <laughs> what are you planning now? Afraid for your Savin? Do you think I would hurt him? I don't really care. Anna, do you still not get what's happening here? 
This is a real war. But bear in mind, I didn't start it. Hey you! Would you be so calm if I'm all sorry, of this sir. happened to you instead? Stop it, Venom! What are you doing? Nobody wants to hear the truth, but we will uncover it! We will show them the truth! It's done. Who benefits from her death? So what's up with this lady? The old lady who's been murdered is Vera Longinov. The very same one that was tried for child trafficking. So... I checked and there's no mistake, it's her. I read about that. This was definitely planned. They didn't even bother to fake a robbery for her cover. Just a professional blow to the head. Instant death. And there were no leads. She must have demanded something from Udalov. It's not rocket science. She got fired from her clinic after the trial, and she couldn't afford to live on a pension, so she needed right. money. So he wouldn't share. He got greedy. Uh -huh. Guys, rich people don't like throwing money around and not getting anything back. It's cheaper to simply get rid of her. That's it. He definitely cut her off, but what about us? Us? Vadim. This is war. And I'm not backing down. We as well. What well, we? I don't intend to drag you into this. That's nonsense. You, you can't leave me it. out of this. There is no we. And where is your car? It's getting fixed in the workshop. Is that so? I'll give you a lift then. Well, if you don't mind, I'd love to accept your offer. It's been a hard day. Tell me. I was talking to a patient and she said I only want Anna to operate on me because she's pretty. <laughs> oh my, how charming. Psychologically speaking, she has a point. Your beauty can make her feel beautiful. You're the face of our clinic and Udalov knew what he was doing. Well, actually I would like to be a decent surgeon and not just some pretty face. And you will become one. You have all the qualities needed. But even after all the qualities you have, you will oh, remain beautiful. Oh, so that's it. It's quite clear that all you really care about is my face. Isn't that so? Why are you saying that? Because I'd like to hear the truth. You don't value me for my kind soul, do you? And you're right, because I don't have one. <sighs> <sighs> Again, you're trying to appear worse than you actually are. Don't you think so? I'm very sure of it. Then let me tell you that in my whole life I haven't done a single thing you can consider as a good deed. All that I want is fame. Yes, I want fame, but honest and dignified. You're the only one I can tell this to. Glory follows if the deed is deserving of glory. That's not my witty saying, but it holds true. Mm. Get in. Let's go. <sighs> I'll just go walk. I think I need some fresh air. As you wish. Mm hmm. <sighs> if only I could love you, then maybe I would be happy. Yes? Anna? Maria, hello! It's a miracle I was able to get your new number. Maria, I'm so sorry, darling. I'm really such a pig. How can I just forget to call you back? Anna, all has been forgiven. But the cops are looking for Udalov. They're accusing him of killing Badirov. They think you're his accomplice. Be careful, Anna. Stop believing in such nonsense. Neither I nor Udalov have anything to fear. Anna, listen. This is important. Udalov is also a suspect in two other murders, including the father of Natalie Gushin, Andrew's wife, as well as his own father. Anna, are you hearing me? Anna? Did you watch the game last night? Well, my team won. <laughs> mm-hmm.
Did you kill Baterov? I have an alibi. I was in the hospital. You even brought me a Christmas tree. I think it's impossible for me to be in two cities at the same time, right? You know perfectly well what I meant. Did you hire someone to kill him? Why do you care so much? Have you forgotten that his men shot at us twice? And don't talk to me about such scum while I'm eating. It's bad for my digestion. Your digestion is just fine. Sure, Baterov wasn't the best human. But that's not what scares me. What? You. Why is that? When there's no reason for you to fear me. Everything I do, I do for us. Our common good. And after that, nothing else matters. And nobody else matters as well. It's just people. Humanity. That I must transcend in power and contempt. Our favorite Nietzsche. Yes, and not just ours. Smart guy. He didn't beat around the bush. I'm no altruist, Anna, and obviously I'll never be one. I'm too old for that. <laughs> Do you know what I'm like? It's kind of funny. A hedgehog. They're called nature's janitor. And that's what I am. I clean up the trash. Let's drink to this. I'll pass, thanks. You're right. You shouldn't drink. I will drink. To us, the janitors. Was Savin's father trash too? No. And who told you that? Was it that punk? I don't even understand. Who's Savin's father? What is this rubbish? Ivan Savin, a police officer from Yuzhnogorsk. Tragically killed while on duty. Just so you know. Enough talk. I'm tired. Let's just go. Come on. The murder of Vera Lonkina benefited someone. She had information and personally knew people who trafficked children. But most likely, she tried to sell her silence. Instead, she paid with her life. No need to envy her. She's just an upstart who will soon be forgotten if she even lives that long. Let's go. I came to visit. You're not going to greet me? What about these wonderful gifts I have? Yes? Do you understand now? Who is this? I thought you'd be smarter. We have the girl. If you go to the cops, she will suffer. Then just tell me what you want from me. We'll talk about that later. Just sit tight, my friend. You bastards! Vadim, calm down. They won't do anything to her. They will! They're psychos! I'll be there soon. I'm already on my way. Oh, yo. You don't even know where to go. Sure I do. I'm going to Udalov's house. I already have his address with me, Andrew. I'm coming. You're not going anywhere. You have a son, Andrew. Just give up this fight, please. Have you forgotten who he is? I may feel sorry for Vadim Skrill, but I feel sorry for myself too. Shut up. I won't abandon my friend and Udalov won't get away with this. What does Vadim have to do with it? It's all because of Go. Anna, right? He's just trying to get back at Udalov because she's with him and you still love her! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> That's enough, George. She's already scared. <sighs> Well, dear lady, you may not be in your studio today, but nothing stops us from speaking frankly just like you do on television. We have nothing to talk about. Just tell me what you want. 
First of all, I would like you to gather and give me all of the evidence collected by those two idiots, your boyfriend and Savin. And then I will need you to guarantee that you will stop going after me. If you do that, then I will let you live. Don't answer now and give it some good thought. I'm running late. I'll leave you in George's company. Just to let you know, there are woods nearby. You wouldn't want to be found in some swamp in those woods, or else you won't be as pretty as you are now. <laughs> I'm only 10 kilometers away. Where are you? I'm on the highway. I'll catch up with you soon. I'm near the intersection. Please be careful. There's a dangerous turn there. I'm being careful as it is. I'll be fine. See you. Yes, the late Maneyev knew Udalov. He even worked for him as a driver when he lived here. Witnesses say that they would often meet when he was here. I think Udalov may have paid Maneyev to assassinate Batyrov and then got rid of him to remove suspicions. Where's Udalov now? Well, Savin knows. He has a complete file on him. So are you in contact with Savin? Well, he contacted us. And according to him, Udalov is a suspect in another criminal case. <clears throat> So you insist that you didn't know Madame Loginov, is that correct? Not personally, no. I've read about her in the papers. Something criminal, right? But on the day of her death, Madame Loginov visited us and even made a statement. Read it, please. You're featured quite prominently. What's so funny? Just, this is complete nonsense. Who can prove now that Madame Loginov, who was an elderly woman, was still in her right mind? This is insane. May God rest her soul. My business is different. We'll prove it. And you better not leave the city during this case. <sighs> Sergey, come here. You check the car. That him! Here. Andrew, where were you? We need to go. We need to. Just I have moment. no time for that. Report. Those bastards. Hunting me like an animal. Uh, but it's okay. We'll just leave. And go where? What about the clinic? <laughs> the clinic? You can leave Topilin in charge. It will provide the same income. It's not the income. I don't want to leave the job that I love. Your job is to be by my side and to help me. To always listen to me. That is your job. That's not the deal we made. That's not what I signed up for. And besides, I don't remember selling my soul to the devil. That's where you're wrong. You are nothing. Zero. Just a pretty face. Ah, by the way, you actually did sell your soul. I am not going anywhere. All right. If you decide to stay here and not listen to me, then I promise you, Savin will die. But if you do exactly what I ask, I promise to do you a colossal favor I'm sure you would like. What kind of favor are you talking about? Well, can't you guess? <sighs> he could become a widower. Have you thought of that? A great option. No person... No problem. No. That thought never crossed my mind. It's about time then. You can have your Savin. If not with love, then with cunning. There's only one person standing in your way. <laughs> that mouse Natalie. Yes. Anna, help me. 
<laughs> this one last time. I will make you happy, hmm? Anna, may we get what we want. And not what we deserve? Tell me, what should I do? Huh? Convince Topilin. Look here. I need a new face. I'll go away forever and leave you alone. You will have Savin and the clinic too. I'll be gone and no more Natalie. No, I'm possible. You will never agree to that. <sighs> of course he will if you ask him. He won't be doing it for money. He will do it for you because he loves you. I have noticed recently that there's a large percentage of people who value... Value feelings more than money? <laughs> you know about life as much as I do. Call to Pilan. Tell him to come to the clinic. But it's his day off today. No problem. He'll come on his day off. Anna, there's no time. Remember that every minute counts. Call him. Hello. How can I help you, Mr. Hudalov? Dr. Alex, it's Anna. Anna? <laughs> Better be careful. He's not alone. If he's actually there. Let's go. Where? Go there. Over there. <laughs> well then. Got any breaking celebrity news? Face to face? <laughs> How about some fun? Touch me and I'll scream. Scream! They can't hear you anyway! <sighs> Do you know what this is? Ah, uh, I'll entertain you. Like no one on your TV has ever entertained you. <sighs> this is a real gun. you entertain me? Uh, you can do that. Huh? You can entertain me. Huh? Entertain me. Uh, Shh, just a moment. Go there. So good, like you've never felt with anyone before. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Give me in there a little more. Yeah. Is he alone? I don't know. Just wait. The keys. Get them. Got him. Got him. I got you. Uh, I got you. Dr. Alex, isn't it your day off? Unbelievable. 
Uh, good afternoon. Good morning, Doctor. It's madness. What are you thinking? And the staff? They will know. We're going to record him under a different name, but then the operation... But... but... <sighs> only you two will operate. No one else. What uh, about the anesthesiologists and nurses? I said only you two. This is madness. <sighs> yes, it's madness. But for this, I will pay you more money than you have ever seen in all of your practice. I won't take your money. Alex, can you help me out? Please help me, Alex. Sure, I'll, I'll help you. But this is crazy. Don't think about sending me off to the afterlife, Doctor. Not everyone is like you. Do we have visitors? No, we're leaving. Is this a joke? It's not a joke. You can't leave. Udalov will be arrested soon. And will this change our relationship? What do you mean? We just rescued Alina. Udalov is interrogated and under investigation. I don't care about that anymore. He has nothing to do with our lives. What's that? Can't you see that revenge shouldn't be your life's goal? Even if it's to avenge your loved ones. Mm. When he grows up and asks me, Where is my daddy? What would I tell him? That dad's out chasing some criminal and he has no time to go to the zoo or to the playground with Give him? Give me some time. You will never have time for it or for me. And I want to live my life, not watch it pass by like an express train, never stopping to rest at small stations. Just let me go home, Andrew. I don't want to live here. I want my house where my dad lived, where I saw my mom, and I want my garden. I want little Paul to breathe fresh air. He don't need me here. I understand that now. We'll go together. Give me three weeks. I'll clean up, then we'll go. Shouldn't have packed your curtains. We'll just buy new ones. How long will the rehabilitation take? You'll have to spend a couple of days here in the clinic. After that, you can take him outside Moscow. A friend of mine is there. If all goes well, he can leave in three weeks. <sighs> three weeks. Another three weeks. What we've done is truly monstrous. It's not your fault. You did it because you love me. And that's the greatest justification. God, how I wish Andrew would just love me just like you do. <sighs> even half as much. Or even a quarter. You know, I only sold my soul to that devil so that he would give me the chance to be the first, to be the best. I really wanted to be first for Andrew so that he'll value me and he'd love me. Believe me, even without Udalov, you would have done it. No. It was easier. And one always looks for an easier way. It's a, it's a natural instinct. 
I'm so miserable. I don't know what's the point of living. Alex, can you please take me home, Alex? I promise I'm not gonna experiment on you anymore. I'm sorry for that last time. I mean, and I'm vile. <sighs> I toy with people like they're paper dolls. And I know God punishes me for it. Stop it. We've all done stupid things. Without sin, then there's no redemption. Let's go. I'll check how he is. You have my thanks, Doctor. Don't thank me. Anna Korolev? Yes? You will have to come with us. I'll go with you. I won't let her go alone. And my attorney will be coming before you talk to her. I don't care. Whatever you say. The car is waiting. Let's go. I'm with you. So you have no idea where to find Odalov, huh? <laughs> he and I are not that close. We're just business partners. Odalov is the actual owner of the clinic, and I'm just a clinic's director. Yeah? So are you not aware that he transferred the clinic to your name? No. No, I wasn't aware of that. How odd. So where did you spend the previous day? Where were you during the evening and night? Right behind that door is a world-renowned surgeon, Dr. Alexander Topolin, and his lawyer, who is also now my lawyer. I've spent my night and the whole evening together with Topolin. I haven't seen Udalov in two days. So, any more questions? Hey, will you come to the wedding? I'll come if I'm invited. You better hurry. We're leaving in a week. Turns out it's not that simple. I keep looking at these married guys, and I feel more and more sorry for them. Women just start ordering around, even the toughest guys. Do this, don't do that. I want to go there. I don't want to stay here. I don't mean Natalie. Yeah, I got it. She's the one who wanted us to go. She's right, we don't belong here. I'll find something to do at home. So it's goodbye. To that beauty of yours, you'll leave her behind. Hmm. Not funny, Vadim. I'm not laughing. <sighs> Has Anna gone missing? No. Um. You know. I sometimes follow her. Well, from the clinic. She never even noticed me. And you don't approach her. What would I say to her? You're such a jerk. Then again, there is a saying. 
A bird in hand is better than two in the bush. You have Natalie, who loves you. And there's your baby. Maybe that's more important than love. Mm-hmm. You should put the bottle down, philosopher. <sighs> I've already taken care of everything, the bank and the tickets. Here. Good job. You're truly the best. I'm all healed now. Documents in hand. I'm Lapikov. Such a funny name, right? Yes, it's very funny. Can I go now? Oh, what's this? You won't even say goodbye? Your devil will miss you, you know? And look, I've got nobody else to love. Loneliness is scary and beautiful. And even though I say I no longer fear it, it's a lie. You said the investigator's office summoned you again. Uh, yeah, well, he's very interested to know where Topolin and I spent the night, that's all. Who could have leaked it? Not me nor Topolin, for sure. Did somebody from the night staff see us? How about the ICU nurse? She was asleep for most of that time, and you arrived in bandages, so no one has seen your face. And what if Topolin snitches? Out of the question. You can't ever trust anyone in this life. Remember that. Yeah, that's for sure. Thank you for the new information. Also, you should know that George Krylov has already confessed to your kidnapping, but unfortunately, it seems Udalov has vanished. He's just hiding. Let's go. Mm? Wait a moment. Please listen. I know why no one can find Udalov anymore. Why is that? Because he's no longer Udalov. And what do you mean? Listen, anyone can get new documents, but I remember that program we made with Anna on New Year's Eve. What program is that? It's my program. It was all about plastic surgery and how even a criminal can get a different face. Udalov probably got a new face. What's the point of owning a clinic and not using it to your advantage? Only two people should know about this. Anna and Topilin. <laughs> You should interrogate Topilin. This is the first time for him. He has never been this late. I mean, if I'm two minutes late, he would always tell me off. He has an operation set for today. I've been working with him for ten years, and this never happened before. Anna, there's a problem. Topilin's missing. He's not answering calls or messages. I called his wife, but I was told he left. I know that. Do you have his new address recorded? Yes, I wrote it down. Here. When did you call him? Since this morning. I'm off. Uh -huh. well, the patient isn't doing so bad. Alex, are you there? I know where you are. I called the clinic. If you don't want to share his fate, get out of there immediately. And for God's sake, don't touch anything. Do you understand? And now to more pleasant things. Natalie Savin has about an hour to live. This will be my going away present to you. 
What's important is peace. That's what I'm doing. Yes. Ugh, there. The moment you find anything, just call me and I'll be there, okay? I understand. <laughs> call me. Visit us. I will. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, guys! Uh. The Belin's dead. Killed in his home. <sighs> Do you realize that Udalov hasn't gone anywhere? What the hell is going on? You go first. I promise you I'll be there within a week. <gasps> the two of you are precious to me. You and Paul. Now go ahead. Andrew! What is she doing here? Andrew! Hold on. Get her away! Get her away! <gasps> Andrew! <gasps> Hey, 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 hey. Natalie! I love you! I love you, Andrew! This is wrong! Is she breathing? Me. I love you! Forgive me! Forgive me! I'm sorry! Please, forgive me! Forgive me! <laughs> Forgive me, Andrew. Mr. Udalov, please come with me. That's not my name. You are mistaken. This is a mistake. Easy. Call me when you get there. Okay? You take care. Right mess. 
I'm going to miss you. Yeah, you witch. Thank you for your cooperation. You're free to go. Let me help you with that. Come on, you should go. Attention passenger Paul Simonov. Departing on flight 315, passenger Paul Simonov. Please report to the boarding gate. I've registered the clinic to Topolin's family. I'll sell the apartment as well. I've decided to go home, Alina. Tell me, did she really love him more than I did? No, Anna. It's just that her love is different. She loved him only because he was there. Was. <laughs> Alina, I... I wanted to ask you for a little favor. Sure, what is it? I was wondering if you could help me out with Paul and his adoption papers. I would like to take him home with me. Sure, I'll help you. <sighs> this is happiness. My child and you by my side. Thank you, Maria. Oh, stop it. All of us have done plenty of stupid things. <laughs> but not as many as I have. Though it seems like I've paid the price for it all, Maria. Yet you're still as beautiful as ever. <laughs> is it really that important? What's important right now is Paul. Right there. He's my purpose in life. Paul, Andrew, it's time to go. Let's go! Are you liking school so far, Paul? I like it. Even if my mom and dad have gone away and won't be back soon. Oh, what a darling. I'm going to finish school and be strong like my dad. <laughs> Where? Over there. You see that? There are two dolphins. Andrew, do you see them in the distance? There, on the horizon. There, I see them! 